vControl Pro supercharges the fader port to be a powerful focus track controller for Pro Tools. Now you can pair it perfectly with the Avid Control app running on a tablet or with the Raven system for tactile control when you need it. The fader port's standard Huey mode provides basic Pro Tools control with transport, track volume, track pan, solo mute record, and markers. VControl Pro uses the fader port's native Studio One mode and supercharges it for Pro Tools. Fast focus and refocus, 10-bit fader with accurate marks. Pro Automation, sends with flip mode, volume and pan reset, dialog cancel and OK, and all solo clear. VControl Pro makes it fast and easy to focus the fader port to any track in Pro Tools. Use the previous and next buttons to move the focus track directly. Or select channel mode and use the encoder to scroll through any number of tracks. You can also select a track with a mouse or any other surface. If you select a track outside the current bank, VControl Pro immediately blinks the channel button to show it is not focused. VControl Pro's innovative refocus feature finds the track for you. Simply tap the blinking button to quickly refocus. Fast focus and refocus make the fader port integrate perfectly with the Avid Control app. Here you can see the Avid Control app's filter and layouts feature. I show the VCA Masters tracks, select one, and refocus. Incredibly fast and easy. With the Slate Raven, the fader port will immediately focus to any track you select. VControl Pro increases the fader resolution to 10 bits and accurately maps Pro Tools to the fader scale marks. Now you can use the fader with complete confidence. VControl Pro turns the fader port into a first class automation controller. Select any automation mode off, touch, latch, write, read, and trim. When using touch or latch mode, the red buttons blink to indicate automation is armed but not engaged. Then when you touch the fader, it instantly engages write mode, indicated by solid red lip buttons. And when using touch mode, writing is instantly disengaged when you release the fader. Now you can automate Pro Tools tracks with confidence and precision. VControl Pro adds Pro Tools Sense Control with flip mode. Tap Link, Master, Click, or Section to select Send A, B, C, or D. Now the encoder adjusts that send level. Pushing the encoder toggles the send between pre-fader and post-fader. Press the Bypass button to change to Flip Mode. Now the fader controls send level, the Mute button controls send mute, and the encoder controls send pan for stereo sends. To reset the fader to 0 dB, hold shift and touch the fader. To reset the pan to center, hold shift and push the encoder. To clear all solos of the entire project, hold shift and press solo. When VControl Pro detects Pro Tools displaying a dialog such as when adding a marker, it blinks the previous and next buttons. Press previous to cancel or press next to OK the dialog. Very handy. See the video description below for links to download vControl Pro and to get a free trial license. To set up the fader port for a supercharged Pro Tools control, make sure the fader port is running in native Studio One mode and not Huey mode. Select Setups in vControl Pro, then Controllers Add New, and select Fader Port V2. A setup with Pro Tools will be automatically created. Select the fader port in the setup and set the bank width. Set for 32 channels if using the Avid Control app or using it standalone. Set for 24 channels if using the Raven or any other 24 fader surface. In Pro Tools, select MIDI input devices and enable all of vControl Pro's fast virtual MIDI ports. Then open the MIDI peripherals panel and set up Huey Banks using vControl Pro's virtual MIDI ports. And finally, open Pro Tools Preferences and set controllers to operate best for your workflow.